let's check out the content of the course. And as you can see here, I have prepared this course with five main sections. Actually, two, three, and four are the theory sections. Number one is mostly about a introduction to flash distillation, flash drums, why are they important, some relevant notes, main goals, and so on. And the conclusion, as you can imagine, is a wrap up on all these sections. What I wanted to check mostly is section number two, which is the review of mass transfer. Please note that if you don't have a fresh memory on mass transfer uh, theory or physical chemistry, this will be relevant for you to study. Otherwise, if you have been taking mass transfer courses or process separation courses, which are related, then definitely you can skip it if you think so. Then the main content on the actual flash design, operation, and control are in three and four, flash distillation concepts and multi-component flashing. Here are the subsections. As stated before, the introduction talks about flash distillation, uh, the main objectives and goals of the course, also where to get the resources, downloads. I have prepared for you some simulations, maybe some task, images, flowcharts, whatever thing. I may find useful to add for you will be in this lecture and some additional notes regarding this educational platform. Then we have section number two, which is the review of mass transfer. As stated before, only check this out if you don't think you have fresh memory on fresh uh, mass transfer. We talk about the ideal solution in gas or ideal gas, equilibrium, vapor liquid equilibrium, what's vapor pressure versus partial pressure. Then we skip to volatility, its importance, then some phase diagrams, mostly temperature versus composition diagrams. We also cover pressure versus composition. And the most important for material balances, liquid composition versus vapor composition diagrams. Then we see four cases, which are ideal gas, ideal solution, which typically is attacked using Raoult's law. Then we have ideal gas real solution, which includes activity. Then we have real gas ideal solution, which uses equation of states and the more complete case real gas real solution, which uses equation of state models as well as activity models. And then we see deviations. As said before, we will see real gases and real solutions, which of course you can imagine they will eventually deviate from ideality. Once we have our uh, basis on mass transfer strong enough, we can continue with flash distillation concepts. We start with the process technology overview, what's flash, why do we need it, uh, where do we use it, what's for, and so on. Then we see the equipment you will see in a flash drum. Uh, baffles, you will see maybe uh, the misters, nozzles, and so on. Then we continue with the operation line. Why do we need one? Especially for the material balances and how to relate the material balances with the equilibrium line. Then we see flash cascades. As you can imagine, these are a series of flashes and we will see how they interact between each other. And what I want to show with this lecture is that eventually you can model a distillation column with a series of flash cascades. Then we continue with multiple, uh, multiple components uh, flashing. The name implies here we use two components. Here we will use three or more components. A brief introduction, Raj for rise, alkane systems, and the Priester charts, and some simulations and exercise as well. Finally, a brief conclusion, wrap up, and some tips on how to attack these type of problems.